appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Ooh, nice play right there. That's in pretty close. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Minus one, in really going. Teed up here at the second hole, Frank, this is a short par for measuring about 370 yards. While it mightn't have the yardage, it's certainly made up in strategy by all the bunkering down here, Rich. And, and it's really two bunkers that you've got to, or two complexes that you've really got to worry about. One down the left, you see, is about 285 yards to carry, and then that next crop comes in just about 300 yards. So you've got to decide whether to go over the bunker on the left and short of the other one, or even lay up to the right, perhaps short. And that's where you realize this is very much a two-shot hole and play it that way. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Did the job right there. Frank, players had hybrids, some had irons out off the tee on that short par four second. Time to get the big stick out here on the third? It certainly is. Uh, the third hole you play here, three totally different looks off the tee. This hole appears straightish off the tee, but well bunkered down the left, which makes you push that tee shot a little to the right. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. So, Frank, we know that the players petitioned back in the 80s to move the PGA Tour event away from PGA West. It's coming back in 2016. But what did Pete Dye say about golf courses being fair or unfair? Well, he said it actually, uh, he tried to say it with a chuckle, but he always said that you know, golf's not a fair game. So why, why build a, a golf course that's fair? Do you agree with that? Um, I do now. I, I think everything has to align itself together. When you looked at the equipment that the players were using, wooden drivers and balls that spun around, uh, they had trouble on windy days. And these golf courses, they were, really were brutal. But um, I, think, I think now that the ball goes further, the, the introduction of the metal-headed driver, the, the utility clubs, all of those things have made these golf courses really come back into, into favour again. Look at what Jason Day did in 2015 at the PGA Championship at Whistling Straits on a Pete Dye golf course. That's how you have to play the game now. We have to embrace change. How difficult is this golf course at PGA West? Well, it was ranked eighth on this year's Golf Digest, America's 20 toughest golf courses. Good stroke right there. That's a par and stays at one under. Frank, here's a case at the fourth hole, this par three of Pete Dye kind of messing with a player's mind. Just how does he do it? Well, there's a straight line between that tee and the flag. That's the obvious thing. But if you follow the, whole, the look of the hole down there, it's just the shaping of the bunkers, the little curving of the edges there that just take that mind's eye away, almost making it look like there's a little bit of a dog leg in a straight hole. Very clever. This one has a chance to be close. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start out the backside here. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those. And um, I mean, they really sting when they miss. 
Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. That's good work. That's a good par right there. Well, here we are at the fifth hole, a 535-yard par 5 for the long-hitting professionals. Frank, certainly not a long test. What is the challenge here on this hole? It's another example of great design by Pete Dye. He'll give you the trouble on the left on the tee shot, and then he moves the trouble to the right on the second shot. It's going to get you one way or the other. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Frank, this looks like a pretty simple pitch shot here. Yeah, conservative off the tee and the lap gives you a chance to be aggressive with this shot. Should be safely on deck. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Jonas Blix for birdie. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. This putt for par. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Well, Frank, how about this 255-yard par 3-6? Yeah, there's a bit of a bailout area, sort of short and left, but um, the only thing really going in the player's favor, it is a big green, 51 yards in depth. So. If you want to sort of do the maths in reverse, 255, take away 50, 205 front, doesn't sound as daunting. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. But, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that second shot. So he didn't hit the green in regulation, but he still has a reasonably good chance to save his par about 10 feet away. Good effort and good par putt. Frank, if you want to play this game at the highest level, and no doubt our players do, you have to sort of be tactical. Will you break down shots or break down a hole? How would you break down this hole in a very smart way? Yeah, I know what you're getting at there. A lot of people would think 350 yards, you could bash a driver down there, you'd finish up in trouble. Well, the way to be aggressive on a strategic hole is to just put the first one in play in a position where you can attack with the second. And there's no shame in that. You can still walk off here more days than often than not with a three. Here's an exciting young player, Jonas Blix, now with his approach shot. There. I have no earthly idea. Go, go, go. 
minus one for the day. Now the second par five on this opening nine here at PGA West. Frank, what are we looking at? The bunker down the right side gives you that optical illusion because it sort of has that curvy edge to it, plus it sort of moves its way to that right side. And then you notice there's a bunker on the left that sneaks in on the left side. So this isn't just sort of blaze away off the tee. It still requires a good straight tee shot. Um, if you do air a little bit, then you've got to be very cognizant of the bunkers up on the left side as you get closer to the green. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Licks now ready for his third shot. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Settles in over the putt. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Finishing out the front nine with a pretty difficult par for, again, water down that right side. Well, look out, this could be wet, Frank. It's heading towards the hazard. Might need some wings just to clear this hazard. Um, that water is looking rather intimidating. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop, this now the third shot. Player really needs to be dialed in here. This approach shot is not easy by any stretch here at the ninth. Frank, obviously, way too much club there. <laughs> You've got to think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never going to sit down. Well, that was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Solid play, heart of the green. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Putt drops, now at one over par. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo for EA's.